This video is going to demonstrate how Facebook's news feed works. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this Facebook page, I'm going to post a photo, and we're going to follow how this photo is reacted to and shared over time. Okay, so I'm at the Facebook page, I'm going to upload a photo. Alrighty, here's the photo right here. Hopefully this will get people engaged, they want to share it, they think it's cool, they want to comment on it, they might have questions. So we're going to see where this goes, okay? The first place it will appear is in the news feed of fans of this page, okay? So if I go to my news feed, all right, I notice right away it shows up in my news feed at the top of the news feed. What I can do is I can actually comment on it. I can share the photo. I can like it. And when I do, what happens is that many of my friends will see that action as well. Now the people who are most likely to see it are friends that I interact with the most, friends who follow stuff that I'm posting on Facebook anyhow, and they've liked stuff that I've shared already. Okay, so they're more likely to see this piece of content in their newsfeed once I like it, comment on it, or share it. And we can see that already it's gotten three likes. We have Giselle, Danielle, and Prem. After four minutes, we have four likes, one comment. Now what's going to happen with Steve Palmer is that his friends will see in their newsfeed Steve Palmer commented on the nonprofit Facebook guy's photo, and then it will have the comment. Okay, so just by commenting, this photo will get shared by Steve and appear in the newsfeed of Steve's friends as well. 26 minutes later, and we are looking at 11 likes, two comments, and one share. 58 minutes later, we're looking at 12 likes, three comments, and two shares. All right, so we're going to take a little bit closer of a look at this at this point. Go to the update itself. Now, many of these people's friends will see this update in their news feed, and a percent of those people, those friends of fans, will take action on this update, like, comment on, or share the update. Okay, so let's go and take a quick peek at insights on the page and see what's happening in terms of reach, talking about this, and engagement. Okay, so if we click on the nonprofit Facebook guy, I'm going to quickly dive into insights. So far, in an hour, it's reached 869 people. 95 people have done something with this update. Okay, so what have they done? 112 photo views. We have other clicks, 35 other clicks. That means somebody may have clicked on the date or moused over the update or something like that. And then we have, you know, the most important thing, 20 stories have been created so far in one hour after this update. And we can drill down and look at, okay, great, what are those stories? What does it really consist of? And we have um, 18 people talking about this in total which includes 12 likes, as we saw before, five shares at this point, and three comments. And as you can see, you know, the more people that are reached um, and the more people that engage with it, it kind of takes on a snowball effect, right? So that's a, a quick demonstration of the news feed, how it works when you publish content on your page, your fans react to it, and then their friends see that and react to it as well. All right, talk to you soon.